Hi, Penny Lane. In this video, I'm going to go over invoicing. I'm not going to go into a great amount of detail, but I'm going to show you a couple of tricks and the basics of invoicing out of JobTread. Remember that invoicing is not a bi-directional sync. Invoices created in JobTread will transfer to QuickBooks Online, but not vice versa. Creating invoices in QuickBooks Online will not show up in JobTread. So you're going to want to do your invoicing in JobTread. And most people are really happy with the appearance of the invoices in JobTread. So it's really not a problem. In JobTread, you're going to click Jobs. Then click on the job you want to create an invoice for. Plus Document. Notice we can create several types of invoices. A customer deposit invoice. A regular invoice, which could be a cost plus invoice. Or a progress invoice. For this example, we're going to choose progress invoice. For this example, I'm just going to invoice for the very top line and I'm going to zero out the rest of these. I can enter my amount in the amount or in the percentages column. Then click create. Notice there's a show financing option here. This just gives your clients the opportunity to finance with Acorn. This doesn't have anything to do with your merchant service. There is a merchant account that you can set up with JobTread to accept ACH or credit card payments. And if you do so, and you send your invoice to your client through JobTread, they'll be able to pay you via ACH through that merchant provider. Some customers wanna use QuickBooks online payments from their QuickBooks online company. And that's totally possible. One thing that you could do is send your client the invoice out of JobTread that looks nice and pretty and has all the information they need. And then that invoice will show up in QuickBooks Online. Let me show you a little trick to be able to send the invoice from QuickBooks Online without all of the messy stuff on QuickBooks Online so that you can simply just accept payment there. Let's click over to QuickBooks Online now and see what this invoice looks like over there. Let's say that I want to send this invoice to my customer, but I don't want to show them the details. I've already got those details in JobTread and I like the way that the JobTread invoice looks better, but I just want to send this to my client and allow them to pay me for this invoice with my QuickBooks Online Merchant Account. First, I'm going to need to make sure that I have my QuickBooks Payments Merchant Account set up, of course, and that I have these whatever boxes I want checked. Maybe I don't want to accept uh, credit cards, but only ACH transactions for this example, and I can do that. But if we look at our invoice, we want to make sure that we're not seeing any details. So what we're going to want to do is create a custom form style for this. Let me show you what that looks like. Click on the gear icon and click custom form styles. Click new style invoice. Click into the content tab. And then under the details here in the center, we're going to just uncheck everything except the amount. And when we're done, we can save this. For this example, I saved one earlier that's called the no details invoice. Let's go back to our invoice now and see what it looks like when we send that to our client. First, we're going to make sure that we have clicked on the correct template. Then let's print or preview this. So when this gets to my client, there's nothing messy on here. This is particularly helpful if you say you have a really complex time and materials invoice and you don't want your customer to see any of the details out of QuickBooks Online, then you can send this invoice to your customer. And when they get it in their email, this is what it looks like. They can actually click here to review and pay. Problem solved. Now let's take a look at what it's like to create a time and materials or cost plus invoice out of JobTread. Again, we'll go to jobs, click into our project, click plus document. Let's click invoice. For this example, let's click on bills and times. And notice that we have a couple of options here. We can choose what's not invoiced, or we can see invoice or not, or already invoiced. Usually we want to see just the transactions that have not yet been invoiced to our client. For the time, we can choose to show all of the time or just the time from a custom date range. For this example, we're going to go ahead and click all of the costs and time and then click create. 
Notice that your client is gonna see a lot of detail here. This is a time in which some clients don't wanna show their clients any of this detail, and they might use the QuickBooks invoice to collect payment from the customer. I find in my experience, a lot of my clients that do cost plus invoicing actually do wanna provide all of this detail to their customer. When it's ready to go and you want to approve it as an invoice that looks good, go ahead and uh, click pending so that it will now be an open invoice. And now this will show up in QuickBooks Online. Keep in mind, if the invoice is paid in QuickBooks Online, it will show as paid in JobTread and vice versa. If the invoice is marked paid in JobTread, it will show up as paid in QuickBooks Online. Love this bi-directional syncing. If you have any questions, as usual, contact support at jobtread.com.